guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be our second episode of our segment which is called Magaral with Mavis. And last week guys, I posted a Facebook story and I asked you guys if gusto niyo bang um, ang topic natin for our second episode ay adultery and concubinage and most of you agreed. So I will flash a proof sa screen na lang po. So, with that, I decided na let's go for adultery and concubinage for our second episode. So, if you're interested ka sa video na to, then keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started! So, guys, I'll start with adultery, which is Article 333 of the Revised Penal Code. And later on, concubinage naman tayo, which is Article 334. Adultery and concubinage, guys... Uh, belong to Crimes Against Chastity under Title 11 of the Revised Penal Code. And for Crimes Against Chastity, it also include um, seduction, abduction, and acts of lasciviousness. So, for adultery, guys, para mas maitindahan natin, hihimay-himayin natin siya. And first, na discuss ko ay sino ba yung mga persons na liable dito. So, in adultery, guys, um, we have two liable persons, and the first one is, of course, the married woman who um, engages in sexual intercourse with a man, not her husband. And the second one, guys, is the man who, knowing the marriage of the woman, has sexual intercourse with her. So, guys, what are the elements of the crime? The first one is the woman must be legally married to the offended party. And that she engages in sexual intercourse with a man, not her husband. And as regards the man, he must know that the woman is legally married. Take note guys that adultery is committed even if the marriage is subsequently declared void. And that the death of the paramour, I mean the man, I will not bar prosecution against the unlawful wife. In the case of People versus Diego, um, the death of the offended party will not terminate the proceedings. Adultery is not a continuing offense, so there is no crime of frustrated adultery. And the criminal liability will be mitigated if the offended party abandoned the unlawful wife without any justification. Take note, guys, that here, the acquittal of one of the offenders will not automatically uh, acquit the other. Why? We have five reasons. And the first one is there is no um, criminal intent. I mean, joint criminal intent, even though there is joint physical act. Third one, um, the paramour or the man may not know that the woman is married. In the case of U.S. versus Topino, even if the paramour or the man left the country and could not be apprehended, um, the woman can still be tried and convicted. And the fifth one, in the case of U.S. versus De La Torre, if the woman or the unfaithful wife died in dependency of the case, it will not bar prosecution against the paramour or the offender man. Guys, in adultery ba? Can pardon be granted? And the answer is yes, and there are some requirements for that. So guys, there are two requirements. The first one is pardon must come before the institution of the criminal action and that both um, offenders must be pardoned. In the case of People versus Muguerza, the act of intercourse with the offending spouse subsequent to the Adulterous Act um, constitutes implied pardon. So, in recrimination, guys, in the case of People versus Flores, the illicit or relationship of the offended spouse mitigates the liability of the offending party or of the offending spouse or the unfaithful wife. Let's drink coffee, guys. Shout out pala to my best friend, M, for giving me this mug na merong nakalagay na name ko. Actually, uh, gusto ko lang mag-thank you kasi na-remember niya yung 10th year um, ng friendship namin. And I believe hindi siya 10th year kasi we started our friendship siguro mga 2009 when we were in third year high school. But thank you, thank you for this gift. Actually, wala pa akong gift sa kanya. <laughs> so, 
I, I know you're watching my vlogs. I know you're watching my videos. And thank you for that. Thank you for the friendship. Thank you for the sisterhood. And I love you so much. By the way, guys, this mug is from Shopee. And yung shop niya is called Einor Stuff by Einor or Einor too, guys. So, gilink ko na lang, guys, yung um, shop niya down below para if interested kayo, um, pwede kayo mag-order sa kanya. Actually, kasi sobrang tibay nung glass niya. Super cute nung pagkakalagay nung name. And I love it so much. Malaki pa siya. So, talagang magagamit niya siya ng mabuti. So, that's it guys for adultery. And punta naman tayo sa concubinage. That's Article 334 of the Revised Penal Code. In concubinage guys, the persons liable here, uh, we have two. The first is the husband or the man who is married. And that uh, the paramour or his paramour the woman who knows that he is married. By the way, guys, um, concubinage yung talagang, or yung tamang pronunciation niya, hindi concubinage, kasi meron minsan, meron pa kong mga naririnig na concubinage daw. So, the correct pronunciation is concubinage. So, guys, what are the elements of the crime? So, in concubinage, um, the husband or the man must be married and that he committed any of the following acts. The first one, guys, is keeping a mistress in the conjugal dwelling. So, the mistress must live therein as such. By the way, guys, um, conjugal dwelling is the home of the husband and the wife, even if the wife um, temporarily is absent therein. Second one, guys, is having sexual intercourse in scandalous manner um, with a woman, not his wife. Scandalous manner, guys, uh, means that the act consists of um, reprehensible words or deeds that offends public conscience, redounds to the detriment of the feelings of honest persons, and gives occasion to the neighbor's spiritual damage or ruin. Third one, guys, is cohabiting with a woman, not his wife, as um. <clears throat> As husband and wife in any other place. Sorry. When we say cohabit, guys, it means that they dwell, like they live together in the manner of husband and wife. So guys, as regards the woman, he must know that the man is married. Concubinage, guys, I think is at least um, beneficial sa mga guys kasi um, they cannot be convicted eh, unless their act um, fall under scandalous manner or circumstances. Eh. So, I think aside from uh, paternity leave sa ating labor code, it's isa ito sa I think um, at least beneficial pa rin sa kanila. In the case of Beltran versus People, uh, the pending case for the declaration of nullity of the husband's marriage is not a prejudicial question in the case of concubinage. So guys, if napansin nyo, um, between the two, adultery and concubinage, um, adultery is more severely punished than concubinage. Why? It's because adultery makes possible the introduction of another man's blood into the family. Meaning, the offended spouse may have another man's son bearing his um, surname and eventually magkiklaim sila ng support sa kanya. So guys, that's it for today's video and I hope na nag-enjoy kayo and I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video to. And if you guys think na it's helpful, pwede nyo namang i-share sa iba, baka maka-help din sa kanila. And ayun guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog.